back to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys are here and I'm so excited to finally be filming this video and letting you guys know um, about something that I've been working on for a while. Um, it is in partnership with Ulta Beauty and Ipsy and I, first off, Thank you guys so much. Like, thank you Ulta, thank you Ipsy for the opportunity for this video. I know we haven't gotten into it yet, but a few months ago, you guys probably saw me post a picture on Instagram of me um, on set with Ulta and Ipsy, and I'm so excited to finally be able to talk about it. Um, I partnered up with them on their Meaning of Beauty campaign, and... <laughs> I'm gonna be in the store! Or I think by the time that this goes up, I will already be in store. So you guys can go to Ulta and see my little face somewhere in the Ulta store. And I'm so freaking excited because I'll talk about it more in the video. And whenever you guys do see the actual video that I filmed with Ulta, um, which I got really emotional for, being in Ulta, was one of my goals this year. It was something that I um, had on my vision board. I really took the time to like make this year's vision board and I'm so blessed to say that more than half of the things that are on there have already come true and this was one of them. And I remember when I was sitting there um, putting it together, I was thinking like, how is this gonna happen? There's like no way, but I just kind of fought through it and was like, we have to think of the positive and not think of like the no's, you know? Um, so here we are in Ulta, which is just, I can't even believe it. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Please, if you guys do, make sure that you guys send me pictures, tweet me, DM me, whatever. I wanna see what you guys like think about it. Um, I hope to like inspire you guys. This has been such an amazing opportunity um, and like, the possibilities you guys are endless if you just let you guys selves dream a little bit and I feel like I'm even like jittery and nervous like saying this I still haven't seen it yet myself um, but I'm so excited and I just if there's one thing I hope to do for you guys and this platform that I have is to inspire you guys so um, that was a super long intro but today I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look right here and like I said it's in partnership with Ipsy and Ulta which again I know I'm saying like this thing over and over again and I feel like I'm just rambling but I am extremely extremely grateful um, it's been such an exciting time and yeah, if you guys wanna learn how to get this look, I'll stop rambling and we can just get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our eyebrows. And you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Precisely My Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. We're just gonna go ahead and go in here. Look at the difference that an eyebrow makes. My God. Good Lord, oh my God. All right, so we're all done with our eyebrows. Now we're just gonna go ahead and clean them up with a angled brush. We're just gonna go ahead and go in. You wouldn't think that it makes a difference, but can you see how it really makes like a huge difference? Do we see this? Clean, not clean, clean, not clean. And also they're like cousins. They're not really like sisters right now, but let's not worry about that. All right guys, so now we're gonna go on to our eye look and I'm gonna be using the all new Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze Eye Palette, which is this one right here. Look at how pretty these shades are. Yes, honey, let me swatch some for you. You guys can pick this up at Ulta. It's only available at Ulta, so you guys can pick it up there. Yes, honey, look at how creamy that is. Mm, that orange in the middle, that one. Yes, honey, give it to me. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I never really do shimmers on like the outside of my eye, but today's a good day, okay? So we're gonna go in with this one right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the outside here and just kind of lightly go in because it is very pigmented. Yes, Smashbox palette comes through. So this is part of the all new Ablaze collection, which is, like I said, available at Ulta, and it's exclusive to Ulta, so you could only pick it up at Ulta. Okay, girl. And I'm gonna show you guys the other products that there is, but this one doesn't really show the packaging, but the other packaging is like hot fire. Like literally, 
Like, look at this is hot fire, okay? And we're kind of gonna re create almost like a corner to it. So let me tell you guys about the campaign that this is for, or like my experience and everything. It was such a fun shoot, you guys, to do. And it was a few of us, and it was like an Ipsy and Ulta campaign. And it was so much fun to shoot. Everybody was super nice, it was so cool. And it was such a surreal moment for me because I had literally at the beginning of the year like put that on my vision board. And it was like, you guys don't understand how like insane it was because I didn't put, okay, so let me go back to the vision board. I took the time like on the 2nd of January to literally sit down and Photoshop everything that I wanted. Like I wasn't just gonna cut out a picture from a magazine, honey. I literally Photoshopped a lot of stuff. So I Photoshopped my face on an Ulta like gondola. And then I photoshopped like a bunch of other stuff, but I was like, I really want this to feel so real that it feels like I already have it. So that way it'll happen faster, you know what I mean? So when they reached out to me and wanted to do this campaign with me and were like, oh, your face is gonna be on Ulta. Like I literally started crying because I was like, what the, there's absolutely no way like that my vision board had nothing to do with this, you know, because like it's not just every day that like they hit you up and are like, hey, Ulta wants to have your face somewhere around the store. You get what I'm saying? So I knew that like the vision board was absolutely such an essential part of um, like why I got this opportunity and we're gonna move on. Let's go in with this orange right here. Or no, is that even orange? I mean, it kind of looks orange to me. It's like a burnt orange. Um, and a different brush and we're just kind of gonna focus it like in here. Yes, do you see that? Yes, honey, okay. So that's just gonna go ahead and give it some dimension. Um, yeah, so then I told that to the Ulta team and I told that to the Ipsy team and if you guys, when you guys check out my other tutorial with Ulta, like I don't know if you guys are gonna catch like the emotional part of it, but I, like the cancer in me really showed because I like cried a lot of the time and it was just like a happy emotional for me because it was like, what, like, something that I've been wanting and that I actually like sat down and photoshopped like came true, you know? And I kept thinking like, is this silly of me? Like when I was sitting there photoshopping stuff, I was like, is this kind of silly of me like really spending all this time? Like I'm kind of wasting a day to like photoshop all these things because like I'm not amazing at Photoshop, so obviously I was having to like Google stuff. How do you do this? How do you do that? And like I was really like taking the time to do this vision board. And um, one of the things that like I put on there that was so surreal and not super realistic came true, you know? And so it was just like, damn, that did pay off, you know? So next year, you best believe I'm probably gonna take a week out of my uh, first days of January to like completely write out this whole thing. And I remember thinking like, yes, and yeah, this is a little bit unrealistic, but like, here we are. It's happening, guys. So, you know, there's so many possibilities. Don't let your circumstances like keep you from your dreams, you know, because it doesn't hurt to dream a little bigger, you know what I mean? And sometimes like we stop ourselves by being like, no, that's not possible. And like the only thing that's really stopping us is ourselves. So I don't know if like, I haven't seen the other videos that we made, but you guys, I'm telling you, I cried a lot of the time. We were just all crying and I was like, you guys, I'm not an emotional person. I don't know why this is happening. I'm just so grateful. And it was just such a cool like, moment and I can't wait to like see my face in the store. I'm gonna cry again. We're gonna go ahead and cut the crease now. So, let me see, I need more product. I wanna tell you guys more, but this is a very um, concentrated part of the look, so I'm not gonna talk right now. Oh my God, yes. It's so satisfying to see like a cut crease. It looks so much better when my eyes are closed too because I have hooded eyelids. 
you guys don't have hooded eyes, take advantage of your eye space. You guys, honestly, like, Carly Bible, eye goals, honestly. Like, I never thought that would be, like, a thing. Like, eyelids. But it really is. Amazing. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this beautiful shade right here. Oh my God, I know I swatched this already, but you guys, look at how pretty it is. It's this one up here, which I already swatched twice, but okay. I just really wanted to swatch it again because it's really creamy. And we're gonna go in with my special brush, which is chewed up by my dog, Joy. Um, you can see the bite marks on it. It's very special to me. Um, I did clean it, you guys, I washed it, but Honestly, I don't have another one like this or I couldn't find it, so that's why I'm using it. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna go in, in here with that color. Yes, it's so pretty. Oh my God, yes. You guys see that? That's nice. So we're gonna go in here. Yes, that's nice, and then we're gonna go in with that really pretty orange that we had talked about, that one right there. And we are going to go on the outer. Super fall, this screams Thanksgiving. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this ruby brush, which I actually got in one of the Ipsy Glam bags. And it's been like a ride or die for me because this is perfect for cut creases. You guys know that I talk about this brush. And it's really nice just to really fill in that crease. We're gonna go ahead and try to um, buff this out. All right, so for my eyeliner, I'm going to be doing the Maybelline Master Precise. And you guys, I absolutely love this because look at how sharp the tip is. Do you see that? Is that seeable? Yes so sharp like I don't think I've ever seen a more sharp eyeliner the way that it like goes on is just look it just glides Ooh. I don't really know what that uh, sound effect I just made was but oh also I'm so used to doing this that I never talk about it but I start my eyeliners usually at like one third of the eye. Just because since I have hooded eyelids, sometimes like the eyeliner will cover the complete look and that's not what we want, so. Now I'm just praying that the other eye will work. Cause you guys know, sometimes the eyeliner don't wanna work, you know? Like I hate it, well, if you guys have seen my little video of like eyeliner tragedies, which is like honestly, not to toot my own horn, but the most relatable video I've ever seen, and I filmed it because it was very relatable, but honestly, like sometimes some go curved, some go too straight, some are too long, and by the end of the day, you end up looking like that one Lady Gaga picture. So let's pray that today is a good day. Are they kind of? Okay, they're going the right way, you guys. They're almost there. Nobody ever texts me. Literally, nobody cares about me. Nobody calls me. Nobody texts me. The day that I'm filming a video, everybody wants to call me. Everybody wants to email me. Everybody wants to see how I'm, how are you? What's, how's your summer been? What's up? And I'm like, what? And then when I'm done here, my phone's gonna go dry telling you okay yes 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 eyeliner come through if there's a little bit of a difference just act like you don't see it okay amazing so now we are curling my lashes as you guys know I wasn't blessed with naturally curled lashes so I have to curl mine you know when I was younger I didn't even know that like naturally curl lashes were a thing like people would just be like, what, why are you using that? And I would be like, what, what do you mean? Do you not curl your lashes, you silly girl? And they were like, no, cause my lashes are curled. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I have to curl mine. So you guys know my little trick of 
curling at the tip and then curling in so it won't look like, so it'll be more like a whoosh instead of like a whoosh, you get what I'm saying? So you curl at the tip, then you kind of take it back and, oh, okay. And voila, you can't see it, but it's there, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and go with our Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I always talk about this and I feel like in every single video I talk about how amazing this mascara is, you guys, but it really is. Also, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you guys know that since I don't have naturally curled lashes, pretty much any mascara that's not waterproof makes them go down because they have water in them. Um, and these that are waterproof, honestly, I just made that up. I don't know if they have water in them. I just, I made that up. I hope that uh, they do have water in them so I don't look dumb. But these that are waterproof really help them to stay up. And this mascara is amazing for that. So if you guys have lashes that go down, as soon as you put mascara, try waterproof, try this one, better than sex. All right, so for our eyelashes, we're gonna be going in with the Eyelier Definition number 128, which is these right here. They're kind of like wispy, but like separated. I don't really know how to explain it. I already put glue on them. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of overcut them a little bit, but you know what? We're gonna work with it. Yes, that looks nice, okay. Actually, I felt like I overcut them, but you know what? This might be the look, because it kind of ends up at the same place where I put the eyeliner. Okay, so there's a lot of glue over here, but we're just gonna wait for it to dry while we continue the tutorial. Okay, cool, so you guys can see that there's a lot of glue on this one. We're just gonna roll with the punches while it dries. We're gonna continue the rest of our face. And I'm gonna be starting off my face with the Benefit Professional, which you guys know that I absolutely love. Mm, I like how it smells. It's a very like subtle smell. You guys know that I smell everything. So we're just gonna go in. And if you guys have never heard me talk about the Professional, it's called the Professional because it fills in your pores. So now we're gonna be going in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Rox put me onto this, you guys, and I'm not gonna lie, it's life changing. Like, I don't know what I was doing with myself before this foundation. It is so good. Um, I tried it when we were on our trip in the Hamptons and she was like, dude, you have to try this. So I tried it out. I know she talks about it all the time, but you know, sometimes you just don't try stuff. And I was like, okay, fine, let me see, let me give it a go. And the minute that I put it on, I was like, <gasps> and it was like the angels came out from above and the skies opened up and it was like, oh. All right, so I'm actually gonna mix these two um, because I thought I was gonna be able to use this one, but it's a little bit dark. I'm not that tan. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix them. And these are the shades. Syracuse, Syracuse, I don't know, and Patagonia. Amazing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these two. Do you guys see how like flawless that looks though? Like this area right here, it already looks so nice. It just, it looks like dewy. Like I don't know how to explain it, cause it's like dewy, but it's like natural, but it's also, <laughs> Radiant, that's actually what it's called. But um, I really, really like how it looks. And honestly, I've only applied this with the Beauty Blender. I've never applied it with the brush, so I don't really know how it would um, apply with the brush. But I would recommend a Beauty Blender just because it really like, I don't know, I feel like it just really get, gets in there and it looks so pretty. So now we're gonna go in with our concealer and I'm gonna be going in with my Shape Tape and this is the shade Medium. And I don't know if I've told you guys this before, I'm pretty sure that I actually have, but sometimes whenever your actual base, like your foundation, uh, looks a little dark, or wait, 
Let me rephrase that. Um, I usually use a foundation shade or try to make my foundation shade like one shade darker than my actual neck because once we highlight and contour, um, that's actually going to even it out. And if you use a shade, or if I personally use a shade that's the same color as my neck, once I highlight, my face looks lighter than my body, if that makes sense. So just a little tip. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder, but I actually like to like put it on the cap, as you can see. Because, um, because it's kind of hard to like get it out of here, you know what I mean? I'm gonna use a flat side, because it's honestly easier. I don't know why I didn't do that since the beginning, but yes. Do you see the difference that that made? That's why these like dual ended little blenders really come through. Now we're gonna bring on that palette that I showed you guys was Hot Fire. Like, isn't this like a really cool like packaging shade, I actually really like it. And this is the Smashbox Ablaze Face Palette. This is also a part of the collection that is only available at Ulta. And I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here on this like fluffy brush. I'm just gonna be blending that in. I'm gonna go down here. And then we're gonna go in with this like coral color, which kind of matches my nails for our blush. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take this off with our sponge. You can also do this with the brush, but I just like doing it with a sponge because while you take it out, you can also kind of like pat it in. All right, so we still have some more eye steps, but we were just waiting for the baking to happen first. So now we're gonna go back in with our Smashbox palette and we are just going to take that like orange color, the burnt orange color, and we're just gonna go ahead and Lightly with that ruby brush again. Focus on the bottom. And we are going to be going in our inner corner with that shade right there. The really pretty shade that I swatched like three times because it was so pretty. And we're gonna put that in our inner corner. For my highlighter, I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this one is in the shade Sun Dipped. And we're gonna go in with the color Summer and we're gonna mix it with the color Moonstone. So we're gonna go between these two right here. First, we're gonna go ahead and take our Fix Plus and kinda give it a little bit of a... Actually, let's do that to our face too. Because the baking did make me very matte. So we need to add some. Amazing. I thought it was a tragedy, but okay. So we're gonna mix Summer and Moonstone. And yes, I really like doing that, like before applying highlighter, putting on some spray, some setting spray, putting it on your brush, and then really just tapping it in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put some on our forehead over here to really give us that Glow. So for my lips, I'm gonna be going in with a really exciting collab, which is the collab of Melissa Michelle and Ulta. I always get so freaking exciting, <laughs> exciting. I always get so excited seeing um, YouTubers and Instagrammers collab with like big brands because it just kind of shows like how far this industry has come, if you would. And that's why I was so freaking excited to like be a part of the Ulta campaign because like I've always seen models in their, obviously like their stores and stuff, but I was always like, why would they not use like influencers? You know what I mean? Like I saw influencers in the gondolas in collaboration with other brands, but never really like Ulta. So it's honestly, I don't know. It's really cool to be able to be a part of that. So Ulta, keep it up, we like it. I love seeing familiar faces at your store, okay?
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the bigger part. Ooh, that's cute. That's really pretty. Now I'm gonna go back in with the liner to kind of like darken it up a little bit on the sides. So you see how it kind of gives it that really cool like ombre effect. Yes, Melissa Michelle, that is so cute. I really like this. Definitely a new fave because you guys know how much I love like my nudes and my mauves. So this is going in my purse. Okay, to finish off the look, we're gonna be going in with our MAC Fix Plus. I absolutely love it and I love the smell because it's such a distinct smell. It's just MAC Fix Plus, you know? And that's just gonna help really like tie it all together, help it just like sink in and set. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited, I'm still like over the moon about this. I cannot wait to take my whole family to go look at my face and be like, look at this. And I really get a little bit emotional because and then me gonna start crying. I was crying all over the other campaign because it was just something that was so positively emotional to me just because I was like, how did this happen? But I just, there's a few people who I wish were still here so they could go and see it because they were on this journey with me and I just wish they would have gotten a chance to like, you know, see how far we've come. So um, again, thank you so much to Ulta Beauty and Ipsy for this. It's been incredible. Thank you guys for the platform. I absolutely love you guys and don't stop dreaming, okay? Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hi guys, it's me again. <laughs> looking a little different than I did in this video um, but I just finished editing it and while looking over it I just got super emotional and as you can see my camera I'm a little bit shaky um, just because I feel like in the video I didn't really get to express so much like how grateful I am for this and I know that to a lot of people it might not seem like that big of a deal like oh your face is gonna be in a store that's cool but to me it's more like about the possibility and about the possibilities that are out there and how like this came about from like nothing to something and that just makes me <laughs> so emotional because even though I always wanted to do something like this like coming from where I came from, it never seemed possible. So just like for this campaign, it's just, I don't know, it's like surreal and I feel like I'm just rambling, but I just, I really felt the need to like let you guys know, like don't give up on your dreams. Don't believe people when they say you can't do it, you know, um, it's all possible with, you know, believe in yourself and hard work it's all possible so don't give up on your dreams like I beg of you because there was a time where I was ready to give up on my dream and I'm so glad that I did it um, and I just I got emotional and I thought I'd share that with you guys because I know a lot of people might think like what she's making such a big deal out of this it's not a big deal but for me it's more about the possibilities and about like seeing something go from nothing to something so I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys never give up on your dreams because you never know how far you can come unless you try I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon